What's going on my YouTube family and what's happening with my YouTube savages? I hope each and every single one of you guys are having an absolutely immaculate start to your day. I just woke up a little bit ago guys. I was kind of up late last night getting some game time in. Feeling like an absolute kid again man. I've been loving it and we are actually going to be doing the very first video on the channel from this company in terms of flower. Neighbor goods. We've got some of the black amber sitting in front of us guys. But before we even get all up into that, quick disclaimer for the YouTube community guidelines. Nobody featured in this video or any of my videos is under the age of 21 and or holds their Ohio licensed medical marijuana card through the state of Ohio. There are no minors featured in any of my videos, guys. Not now, not literally ever. And all the content that I do upload to the channel for you savages is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now that we got that beat up and busted right on out the way, drop it in the comments where you guys are about to be burning on during the course of today's video. I absolutely always love seeing that. And drop it in the comments where you guys would like to see me do a review on next, man. If any of you savages enjoyed this video go ahead and hit it with a big fat thumbs up that helps the channel out as a whole more than you guys could possibly imagine man the more likes we get on these videos the more that youtube's algorithm decides to circulate the content around to people who have never seen the channel before so we get some potential new savages to join that savage army and there ain't never nothing wrong with that guys am i right and if any of you savages dislike this video go ahead and hit it with a big fat thumbs down and drop it in the comments why you guys disliked it and what you would like to see me do better in the next video guys all right savages so we've got some black Amber for Neighbor Goods. First video from this company that I've ever done on the channel. And honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I was debating on even doing the video for this stuff because I did test it a little bit last night. I rolled up a little scoob. If you guys checked the short last night, then you know what I'm about to say. But this stuff was not burning very good at all. It was almost exclusively black ash and the flavor was not very good either. But nevertheless, guys, we got to bring the uh, facts to you, savages. So I'm going to be rolling up another one here today. And here's hoping that this one smokes a little bit better let's just get all up into the product facts on this one guys and we're gonna crack it look at it smell it see if it passes the stickiness test grind it down roll it up and then see what she is smoking on all right guys black amber this is a hybrid dominant flower and uh just so you guys know the only time i've ever had the strain black amber was actually from the dopest shop.com i ordered a half ounce of micros a few months back of the black amber and honestly guys i wasn't really disappointed in that stuff whatsoever even though the micros line from the dopest shop was very very leafy honestly just from the doobie i smoked this stuff last night i'm not gonna lie the micros from the dopest shop actually smoked better than this stuff so i'm hoping that this doobie burns a little bit better tastes a little bit better guys we'll just see how it shakes out but this is the black amber from neighbor goods hybrid dominant flower net weight is 2.83 g a tenth of flower total thc on this one guys not shabby 28.8 percent almost 29 percent creep up into the uh, 30% range for the total THC. That is not terrible, guys. Delta 9 THC is 0.4%, and the overall Delta 9 THCA is 32.4%, almost 32.5%. So, <laughs> supposedly pretty strong stuff here, guys, in terms of the THC anyway. Big fat zero when it comes to the total CBD. Other cannabinoids, we have CBG 0.2%, no CBN, and no CBC. The package date on here, guys, was July 31st. 2024 so out of all three things that i picked up from the ohio cannabis company this week all of them were pretty old guys but this is actually the freshest thing that i picked up this week so i was hoping save the best for last that this would have smoked the best out of all three of them just judging from the joint that i burned last night honestly guys the standard wellness strawberry bubbles was the best thing that i picked up this week and i wasn't actually loving that one to death it was a pretty fair smoke it probably would have been better if it was fresher i was just glad that it still smoked good regardless but i had <laughs> i had pretty high hopes for this one guys i'm not gonna lie regardless we're still gonna do the video july 31st 2024 tested by north coast testing lab llc per usual terpenes in terms of percentage we have D-limonene 0.575, b caraflene 0.365, and then linalol, last but not least, 0.25. I'm assuming those are the three most dominating terps in this jar of flour. By the way, guys, I seen one of the savages chirp in the comments about a week ago that Neighbor Goods actually has very good quality glass jars. I don't know if I'm mistaken, guys, but this kind of feels like a thicker type of plastic. It definitely doesn't feel like a glass jar. Maybe I'm wrong here, but it definitely feels and looks like some plastic here guys and there wasn't actually a freshness seal on the inside of the jar either they have one of these things at the top of the lid but it wasn't actually stuck to the jar guys so i do want to mention and shout that out all right guys here in terms of the nose 
it's a very earthy type of uh, aroma here guys and it's not very pungent either as soon as you crack the jar it almost smells slightly like a gmo almost a little bit garlicky but that is not too potent or pungent either guys honestly not too much of a nose here whatsoever the flower itself actually looks pretty freaking good though it is absolutely keefed out i would say mostly medium-sized buds here in the jar guys but the stuff is not very sticky or fresh whatsoever if you guys want to get a better close-up of these nugs check the short that i just uploaded of the flower uh last night just to get a better look at the stuff it is very keefed out very purple very dark green but it's not very um good on the nose guys and it's not very sticky feeling whatsoever i'd actually be shocked if this ends up passing the stickiness test let's just see though guys black amber by the way the trim job could use some work on this stuff as well guys oh no that is not sticking together whatsoever guys i'm kind of tilting it up so it doesn't fall this is some decently dry flour i'm not gonna lie but nevertheless we're still gonna grind it down we're still gonna roll it up and we're still gonna see what she's smoking on guys drop it in the comments where you just got finished rolling up and what you're about ready to light up and let's have a little session together this morning guys all right guys we've got this one twisted up and right off the bat i'm gonna be totally honest this is some of the driest freaking weed that i've got from the store or otherwise in so long guys a situation where i literally had weed falling out of both ends of the paper which only ever happens when your weed is excessively dry uh, guys we're not off to a great start here but i already did kind of test this stuff out last night i went into this video knowing i wasn't going to absolutely love it but i just want to inform you savages the consumer right of what is good and what's not in our program and lately i've been really trying to find like better deals in the program especially since i went through that period of being off of work and stuff but guys so far if we're shopping budget i can only really recommend a couple of companies right now guys and that's going to be uh columbia care the seed and strain triple seven classics line of flower never been disappointed with them and i definitely never had no dry flower like this from that company very affordable as well on the five six sixes usually between 50 and 60 dollars plus tax definitely not terrible and then it's going to be gti i've also not been disappointed by that company not even a little bit guys and for the price I mean, let's be honest, this was more expensive than stuff from GTI, so eee. Regardless, guys, we're going to be giving this one a fair shake. This is the Black Amber from Neighbor Goods. Cheers, and drop it in the comments what you guys are about to be puffing on during the course of this video. Let's get faded, guys. Cheers. Sun is absolutely a shining bright this morning, guys. Kind of reminds me of a GMO a little bit. It's definitely a little bit funky. It's definitely a little bit garlicky. I've had worse tasting stuff right off the bat. First couple puffs. But the dryness alone, guys. I have never had dry weed like this that I've actually ended up liking. And I am usually always the one to tell you guys to make sure that you ask for the package date when you're at the counter, guys. I went to the Ohio Cannabis Company this time to pick up everything that I did in terms of the reviews this week. Not normally going to that dispensary. I ended up picking my stuff up in the drive-thru. So I felt like it was a little inconvenient to have them switch my stuff while I'm in line at the drive-thru. So I kind of bit my tongue and just dealt with it this time and kind of wung it to see what we were going to end up getting. Guys, I'm going to be honest so far, the strawberry bubbles from Standard Wellness was the best thing that I picked up this week. And even that one wasn't blowing me away, not by any means necessary. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see that there, but it's definitely pretty much exclusively black ash. And you guys know me, I've always said if it's not white, it's not right. Mm. Man, I'm kind of hesitant to even smoke this one for you guys, but... For the savages, man, just in case anybody was wondering about this one, I'm definitely going to still be trying other stuff from Neighbor Goods. I've had people shout out the Cap Junkie and the uh, Blue Zushi. I actually almost got the Blue Zushi this time. The reason I went with the Black Amber, one, I've never tried it from a dispensary. I've only ended up trying Black Amber from the dopestshop.com. So I just wanted to see what this stuff was smoking like out of a medical dispensary. And I guess we found out. You guys can see there, man. Look how black the ash is. So I'm going to go ahead and say this right now on burn. And I'm, I'm being generous. 
5 out of 10 on the burn. That might be the lowest score for any uh, flower I've ever done on the channel. But guys, look at that. It is not even a little bit white. It's all black. Oh, and it doesn't taste that good. I'm just going to be honest. Just want you guys to really take a look at that real quick and tell me what you guys think about it. I did not get this from the street. And funny enough, if I was to go in there and roll up the stuff that I did get from the street last week and compare it to this... It's a little bit of a disappointment, guys. That's all I'm going to say. Without being too negative on the stuff, this is very disappointing, guys. We got to do better than this. Moving on. In terms of the flavor here, it's doing a little bit better than the burn of the stuff. I'm just going to say that right now, right off the bat. It's not the worst tasting bud that I've ever had. It definitely tastes like some mids, though. It's not very good. It's not extremely terpy. I am getting a little bit of terp here, and what I'm getting... It's earthy, a little bit green. I'm getting a slight and subtle flavor of like garlic cookies, GMO. But overall, this is not impressing me, not in the slightest. If anything, it's disappointing me, guys. Oh my goodness. On flavor, I'm going to be a little generous here. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, honestly. I think I prefer the taste of this over that rainbow runs that I had the other day from Buckeye guys if I'm being totally honest that one definitely tasted like mids to me this is getting a 6 out of 10 on the flavor it's definitely not great it's slightly below average guys one of the worst things I've reviewed on the channel so far I was hesitant to even do the video guys honestly and at this point I'm kind of glad I tried it already last night because if this was the first time I tried this stuff I would have probably been really negative on it <laughs> It's harsh on the throat. <coughs> it's drying out my mouth. <coughs> the flavor is like, gosh, man. It's I. It's not great. That's for dang sure. And look at the end of the doobie, guys. It's totally getting milked up with a dark, dark brown resin. Getting it all over the savage's lips. And I've definitely noticed the correlation to that happening with the excessively dry flour. I don't know what it is, guys, but fresh weed barely ever does that unless you roll the end of your doobie just like way too tight. This is hybrid dominant, guys, and in terms of the effect, I am starting to feel a decent buzz, I suppose, but everything about the smoking experience of this is definitely a no bueno. It's definitely not getting a good score from your boy. Oof, guys, I need to make another trip back to the Citizen. It's been too long since I've been uh, <laughs> to Clutch Cannabis. I don't remember ever getting bad weed there or like old weed there, guys. I don't shop at the Ohio Cannabis Company too often. I could probably count on one hand how many times I've actually been to that dispensary. But this is unacceptable, guys. Honestly, this is not good whatsoever. It's burned black the entire time I've smoked this. I don't even really want to finish it. And we're just going to go ahead and score this one overall. The Black Amber from Neighbor Goods. Unfortunately, guys, I really wanted to like this one. I've had my eye on this company for some time. And I'm definitely still going to be trying other stuff from them. And I'm damn sure going to make sure that everything is fresh from now on. The one time I decide not to ask, <coughs> we get burned, guys. Three for three. The strawberry bubbles was by far the best thing that I picked up out of the store this week. And that didn't even really blow me away, guys. But this is this is a no-go, man. This is like a 5.5 out of 10. And I am not pulling any punches here, guys. <coughs> if you guys have tried this one and had a different experience, drop it down in the comments. But you guys see it there, man. Savage is not fibbing to you guys one little bit. <coughs> if I was a betting man, I would uh, gauge to say that none of you guys would want to smoke or spend money on this stuff either. Look at that, man. <coughs> That's bad. It's giving me almost like sprayed weed vibes, which is never a good thing, guys. Anytime I see ash that looks like that, I have a bunch of questions circling around in my head, to be honest with you guys, which is never a good thing. I definitely do not like giving you guys negative reviews. We really don't have too many uh, reviews on the channel as a whole that were very bad whatsoever. This is one of the worst. It might be the worst thing that I've done on the channel, guys, right up there with that London pound cake from K uh, KYND. Yeah, this is a 5.5 out of 10. I'm not even going to finish this one, guys, and I'm a stoner. Even if it's not the greatest, I'll smoke that thing to the roach. <laughs> but it's attacking my throat. It's very harsh, and my chest is starting to honestly feel a little bit of pain and pressure. Not a great thing. We're going to dust this one out. 5.5 out of 10 on the Black Amber from Neighbor Goods, guys. I am very sorry I didn't end up liking this one, but you guys see it. 
I mean, what are you going to do about that? But regardless, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Drop it in the comments where you guys rolled up. I hope you guys were smoking on something tippy top shelf this morning. You guys are my savage army. I already know that you guys are. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. 5.5 out of 10 for the Black Amber, unfortunately. Better luck next time, neighbor goods. Better luck next time. Peace, savages. And I hope you have a blessed and savage rest of your day.